Trev's Axel. show. I'm the Trev. It's too sweet. Anyway. We got a new GM in Colorado. <laughs> now, I honestly wasn't expecting to make this because I honestly wasn't expecting the announcement until I heard it this afternoon. But it's not for negative reasons. It's actually quite the opposite. But let's discuss. So after nine seasons of playing the role of GM, which saw him bring the Avalanche their first Stanley Cup in 21 years, and topped off with being NHL General Manager of the Year, at the end of the season, Joe Sackick has been promoted. And he's now your President of Hockey Operations. Which, in turn, means you have a new GM. Enter Chris McFarland. Now McFarland comes in after seven seasons of being the assistant general manager to Joe Sackick. In that time, he worked almost to the hip with Sackick in all hockey-related matters during that time and was pretty much a huge part with the turnaround the Avalanche had from being last in the league at the end of 2017 to winning the President's Trophy in 21, ultimately to the Stanley Cup. Prior to this, McFarland was a member of the Columbus Blue Jackets from day one, operating in other personnel matters before July 2008, when he was given the assistant general manager position, which he held until he was hired by Colorado in 2015. So he comes with a lot of experience being an assistant general manager. This is his first active general manager job. But I don't think it'll be that bad. He's taking over a team that Sackick built. In a sense, he helped build. Being he was tied to the hip with Sackick, he helped see the deals for Landeskog and Makar and Renton and all get re-signed. On top of that, they're the defending Stanley Cup champs now. <laughs> but on top of that, you've got three Calder Trophy winners in the last 10 years on this team, and they've all been treated to this. The sky's the limit for this team. We all know this. So as long as the major core stays intact, like I imagine they'll be wanting to re-sign McKinnon real soon, everything will be fine. And you've got Bednar behind the bench, who obviously proved he can coach a cup winner. Much less a President's Trophy ch or President's Trophy Championship team, much less a division-leading team. So there shouldn't really be any worries as far as what's on the bench and what's on the ice. I mean, contracts will always be contracts, and we are two days away from free agency. So who knows what comes in, what goes out? I mean, they just signed Natrushkin to a six-year deal today, so that's saying that they're confident in the pieces they have and ready to move forward, and let's see what they do, right? On top of your main core, you can look at the guys you got on the blue line and in net as well. And a lot of the up-and-coming guys, I mean, you got Gerard, you got Devon Taves, you got Alex Newhook, you got Bowen Byram, Pavel Fransos, I imagine, is getting promoted to starting goalie. What more can I say? The future looks bright in Colorado, and I mean, I don't suspect McFarland will stray from the path too, too much, if at all. I mean, he'll lose pieces here and there. Obviously, that's a given. But if he can keep the same mentality Sackett kept in mind when building a championship team, it could pay dividends. But we'll see, <laughs> like all things. I don't know what just hockey shows. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate it, especially if you've made it this far. It's a great thing, and I'm glad you have. Since you're here, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're here. That red button, if you're considering it, please do. We're rising, and that's not a bad thing at all. <laughs> you know what we want to get to? You know how the subscribe work thing makes you feel? Do it up. Socials, go in the description down below. Move forward. Well, I'm getting up on projects. I got more projects I want to get back on. But either way, free agency's coming up.
Just look for me to do something on that. Either way, in the meantime, in between time. Good for me, Mr. Jeff. Later.